Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you what I eat in a day. I like to think that overall I eat pretty healthy and I can show you how to do the same by incorporating healthy choices into your daily diet. I don't believe that eating healthy needs to be really expensive or difficult to maintain and I will show you how with just different choices throughout the day you can start incorporating healthier habits into your regular diet. Hi, so for meal one of the day, I always start with a good cup of coffee. I just do two shots of espresso from the Nespresso machine and then I add some, it, either, it, it can either be oat milk, regular milk, or creamer, but right now I have the oat milk creamer from Trader Joe's, so currently using that. And I'm still not quite hungry. Usually I'll just eat breakfast when I have my coffee. Um, but I'm going to hold off a little bit. So one healthy tip as I'm now at the bottom of my cup of coffee is um, so standard coffee with no milk, no sugar doesn't really have calories or they're negligible. So if you want to be a little bit healthier, try to drink your coffee as black as possible. Um, but if you need to add a little bit of sugar, or I just put in a little bit of milk or creamer. Obviously, milk is an even better alternative. Creamer obviously has like a lot of sugar and other additives, um, but something to keep in mind. So for breakfast, I am gonna do, so this is like an Arabic bread that my mom made, um, but it kind of just tastes like a salty pancake. So I'm gonna do this for breakfast and then I am going to put some peanut butter on it. So I'm gonna warm this up first. Got my peanut butter. So yeah, I think, sorry if you can hear the microwave in the background. So I think like to, pe to pancakes, there's always a healthy alternative with like peanut butter, um, especially if you do like a more natural peanut butter or something like that. Um, but you can also do, I don't know, I feel like you can do a lot of different spreads. You can do like an almond butter. Um, instead of doing something super sugary, like maple syrup. So that's my breakfast tip, is to take some sort of alternative. Any other thing is these aren't like pancakes made from like a mix or anything. Um, they're like made from scratch, so that's always a little bit healthier than the powdered stuff, because I don't know, you don't know what they're putting in there. So here it is, your little, or my little, peanut butter pancake not the most appealing thing in the world like it's not like super pretty um but it is yummy i had this for breakfast yesterday um and you know fairly healthy you got some protein got some carbs to start your day gotta love that along with all my daily eating for the day i also make sure to drink plenty of water this isn't a cup of coffee this is my reusable water cup so i make sure that i am staying hydrated throughout the day you know they say that's like very important but i definitely am a big water drinker lunch time okay so for lunch i am going to make some avocado toast but we actually don't really have any bread um so i'm going to use half a bagel because that's all that's left and then probably just eat the rest on the side since i'm going to use a whole avocado it won't all fit on one piece of toast but toasted i am going to put some of this onion and chive cream cheese spread come on this onion and chive cream cheese spread on it and then some green Tabasco sauce as well. And 
that'll be lunch. One piece of avocado toast, some avocado on the side. Nothing too fancy, but pretty healthy. So I just got back from a haircut and I'm trying to figure out what I want as a snack. I'm gonna do some of these dried apricots. Just do like a handful of them for now. And then if I'm still hungry, I might get something a little more substantial. For dinner tonight, we are going to do some salmon wrapped in phyllo dough and some veggies. I will show you the recipe for the salmon. This is one that my friend Elena, shout out, taught me. So you get some phyllo dough like this ready to go um, and then you just have to thaw it in the refrigerator overnight and I was so worried about thawing the phyllo dough that I didn't thaw the salmon which is the main part um, so I'm doing a speedy thawing it's supposed to take uh, eight to ten hours in the fridge but I'm gonna do it in ten minutes so let me show you my trick so the trick is you just put your salmon packets in really really hot water and you just leave them in there and they're they're gonna be totally fine in like 10 minutes so this is what the phyllo dough looks like unwrapped they're like these really thin sheets and we will use a few for each of the salmon fillets and then we're gonna do pesto on top and also some lemon and then bake it in the oven this egg wash just beat an egg in here and we're just gonna spread that all over our salmon on top of the phyllo dough with our salmon inside so that is what the raw product looks like and let's just put that in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes Meantime, Dylan has made some veggies that are going in the oven. There's some cauliflower, some bell peppers, and some eggplant. So let's get our salmon in there. See you in a little bit. So here is our finished product with our three fish fillets. So here is our dinner with the veggies on the side. This is a pretty quick and easy, like, Besides the chopping of the vegetables, about 30 minutes, like 10 to prep this and then 20 to cook it. Quick and easy and healthy dinner. So that concludes my day of eating. If you made it this far, make sure to like this video. And if you aren't already subscribed, subscribe to my channel down below. And also comment what your favorite meal of the day was. Are you a breakfast fan? Is there any of these recipes that you will try for yourself? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.